Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you the exact framework that I used when I cold called to sign pretty much all of my clients last year. I probably ended up signing about 25 clients altogether through cold calling. Using the exact method, I locked in for like two, three months straight and signed like 12 clients. It works, cold calling works. Yes, you don't want to be doing this for the rest of your time. It's a low leverage task. You guys want to graduate to lead generation ads, which I have a video in the description below, which you can watch on how to actually generate leads using Instagram and Facebook ads, just like you do for your clients, but instead, get them for your SMA for anywhere from 80 pounds to 200 pounds per client. I also coach on that, so if you want to DM me on Instagram, Jacob Morris with a zero, DM me, I'm happy to answer any questions and provide as much value to as I can. I also will help you create a clear ad script and actually get you picking your niche if you haven't chosen it already. We'll get that done on the call and then we'll get you going. But anyway, we're here to talk about cold calling, so let's get straight to it. First things first, I want to go over the old way that you're probably used to cold calling and why it isn't effective. So the old way of cold calling, I'm going to do it here, is the first thing you would do is cold call a business and then you would do your shtick, you would do a pitch. So you would say something like, hey, this is a cold call, you have five seconds, you can hang up or not. You would pitch them and then you would book them straight into a sales call. So why is this ineffective? Well, it is ineffective because there is no trust being built. There's one point of contact before you're telling them to hop on a call and you're pitching them 500,000 pound, 2,000 pound retainers, set up fee, whatever you want to call it. No trust, they don't know who you are and they're gonna no show. You're probably gonna have like a 20% show rate, okay? Which is awful. You know, short rate should be around 70%. And if you're getting anything below 50, you really need to think about the process that you're running and if it's actually working. So look, that's the old way most people do sales calls summed up. It's ineffective, it's a waste of your time. Don't do it. Like, seriously, stop. So today, I'm gonna to teach you how to actually cold call. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cold call. We're gonna cold call. I'm gonna cold call a business, and I'm gonna give you the script, link in the description, you can fill in an email and you'll get a, e a script emailed over to you. It's the exact one I used. So you're gonna cold call, and really the goal of this, right, is not to book them in for a sales call. You're simply finding out here if they have a problem you can solve and if they're interested in solving it. That's pretty much what this first cold call is doing. You're not trying to book them into a meeting, you're not trying to sell them anything yet, you're simply finding out they have a problem and if they're open to finding a solution to that. So once they say yes, you've dug a little deeper, you're still gonna dig in on this sales call, you're gonna find out where they're getting the leads from, you know, how is it going in their business? How many uh, closes are they get in a month compared to how many they want to be getting? You're still going to be asking these questions. This is the equivalent of a discovery call on a, on a warm lead. Sorry, I couldn't spit that out. But it's pretty, pretty much the same. So you're literally to find out, do they have a problem? Can you solve it? If not, we'll move away. So once they tell you, yes, I have this problem. Uh, I want to solve it. And, you know, I'm looking for a solution. You're going to say, well, great, John, that's great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you over an email with a short two-minute video which explains to you exactly what we do and how we took X company to X result. You can leverage a case study if you have one. So you're going to build desire to look at this case, to look at this BSL with a case study that you tell them on the cold call and that this video explains exactly how you do it. So, hey, John, even if you don't want to sign on with us or you know you think it's a bit too expensive, at least you're going to get value and you can put this into action yourself. And if it works, you can come to us and we'll do it for you. That's something you can say. So this VSO is a video sales letter. Pretty much the, the structure off the top of my head is you're pretty much going to say what you offer, so who you're selling to. Um, you know, we help roofers add an extra 15 quote qualified leads to their business every single month or you don't pay. And then you're going to talk about a case study. So maybe the one you're going to showcase. But then you're going to show them the old way of doing things and your new and improved way, okay? You're basically going to throw rocks at the old way and basically show them why it's so bad. Then you have the new way. Maybe you're going to give them some time frames, what we used to do, some time frame and unique selling point. Exclusive leads, uh, only for your business. We have air exclusivity. You know, you're not gonna be paying thousands of pounds per lead, they're gonna be this much. And then once again, you're gonna close it off with the offer. So let's recap it, what we spoke about so far. You're gonna cold call them and find out if they have a problem. 
and if they want it solved. If they want it solved and they have the problem you're looking for, you're then gonna ask them, can I send you over a VSL? Don't have to call it, they can say an email, video, whatever you wanna call it. Don't use VSL, it's a bit technical term, but say so you're gonna send over a video for you guys to look at where we are gonna show you how we took X company from making X amount of money to Y amount of money. Um, so check that video out and let's see if you, know, you wanna work for us. So in this video, what are you gonna to say to them? In this video, this video sales letter that you're gonna record and send them, you're gonna tell them what you're offering, we help roofers get 15 qualified leads every single month or you don't pay. We're gonna use a case study. We help this roofer go from X to Z point, right? The transformation you're selling. Now you're gonna talk about the old way. Old ways, word of mouth, um, shared leads. You're not, char you're not charging what you're worth. You're, you know, you're cutting prices down. You're not making a lot of money. This is the old way. This sucks, this is terrible. Your new way, what's your solution? What are you doing differently? Give it a unique name. We call it, you know, the social growth funnel or you know, we're gonna call it the niche authority funnel. You know, these, these are the kind of terms you need to be using. It's the new way, it's a new product. This is what's gonna entice them in. And, a bit, and, and, and even better if you can bring the new way back to the case study and kind of bring the case study into the new way and, and show them practically how it works. Then finally, after you've done the new way and you've thrown rocks on the old way, you're then gonna talk about maybe how long it takes them to sign up. You know, just some key details they might be wondering, frequently asked questions you're gonna answer. So kind of this is like an FAQ, I guess you can call it. Are these leads exclusive? Yes, they're exclusive. And then finally, you're gonna tie it back with the offer. So you open the offer, offer sandwich. Offer, case study, old way of doing things, new way, why this way sucks. New way we're gonna do it, frequently asked questions, offer. That's what you're gonna send to the VSL. Now, you've sent the VSL, they've looked at it, and you know, they're very happy with it. They're even gonna reach out to you again and say, hey bro, I'm interested in hopping on a call, which is, you know, one in five times gonna happen. So now what you're gonna do is you send the VSL and let's say one, two, three days later, you're gonna follow up. You're gonna call them. And you're gonna ask, hey, did you get a chance to look at the video I sent you? What did you think? Hey Jacob, no, I didn't get a chance to look at it. That's no problem. That's why I was calling John. I just wanted to see if you wanted to hop on a call. I can show you inside the ad account and I can show you how everything works. And you know, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you can go your separate ways. So really here, you're actually trying to book them into a call now because look, touch point one, touch point two, touch point three. So you've already had three touch points. If they've looked at it and they liked it, book them in for a call. If they didn't like it, still try to book them into a call and try to convince them, but you know, don't be too pushy. If they say no, no, they're gonna hang up. Always keep on the phone. And if they haven't seen it, try to book them in for a call. So the end goal of this is to book them in for a call. Don't be like, I'm gonna resend you the email. No, you're booking them into a call. Okay, and then from here, you're gonna book them in for a call. But you're gonna create a WhatsApp group chat and send reminders. So after the follow up, if you've managed to book them in at 2 p.m. on Tuesday, you're gonna create a WhatsApp group chat. Hey, John, so I'll use this number for a WhatsApp group chat. We'll send you some testimonials over there. We'll send you some more information for you to look at, and uh, I'll send you a link to join the call. Creating that desire again. So this is one creating desire to actually look at it using the case study. And then here you're also creating desire to actually sign up to the call. You're gonna be sending testimonials or just extra information they're gonna find out. So, and it's also a way you can just communicate with them. Like you have a group chat with them now, with the lead. Like they can't escape you. You know what I mean? You're gonna either call them or talk to them on the group chat. So then finally, finally, it's a sales call. It's a sales call. And this is where you're gonna sell them. This is where you sell them the dream and you do what you need to do. Sales resistance is gonna be high, they don't know you, they don't know like or trust you, so this is why cold outreach kind of sucks, but it's just how it works. So if we sum it up, why this is more effective than literally cold calling straight to a sales call, it's pretty self obvious, right? Look at the steps, <laughs> like what's gonna work better? But we can break it down in case you're thinking this is just a bunch of nonsense. So, old way. Literally, I'm, I'm literally doing it, I'm literally doing the VSL here. Far you're gonna sign seven clients. Case study is myself. The old way is this way. The new way is this way. You um, time like you know frequently asked questions. You need to call them one to three days when you follow up. You're creating desire. Like these are the frequently asked questions, and I'm offering it again. This is this isn't so. This in itself is a VSL, which is kind of cool. But nevertheless, so look, what are the problems with this old one? Let's just go straight to the point. The touch points are just not enough. That 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 in its own is enough for me to say this is bad. It's a terrible system. It fucking sucks. I do not recommend it and you're gonna be wasting your time and pressure hours getting nothing in return. You're gonna get zero sales, zero. 
Zero sales. So remove that from your mind, okay? Do not follow this way. This is too easy. This is just stupid. Okay, so the new way. We're on this bit of the VSL now. I've thrown rocks at this place. We're on the new way. You're going to cold call them. What are you doing in this cold call? You're simply finding out, do they have a problem? Do they have a problem that they want solving? Yes, that's it. Okay, John, you have a problem that you would like solving. I'm gonna send you an email with a video on it which explains everything to you to find out if this is a service that you'd actually be interested in. And I'll follow up with you in the next couple of days. How's that sound, John? Sounds great. Let me get your email. I'm gonna send you the email. We're gonna show you in this video, and this is where you create the desire. In the video, we're gonna show you how we took this company from making X amount of money to X amount of money, okay? Or Y amount of money. So still creating that desire for them to actually go ahead and look at this. One to three days later, you're gonna follow up with them and you're gonna say, hey John, did you get a chance to look at the VSL I said? Yes, no, I didn't. Yes, I did. I liked it. I didn't like it. It doesn't matter what they say. The goal of this is to book them in for a sales call. Now, how do you book them in for a sales call? You're gonna agree on a time. Hey, Tuesday work for you, John, 9 p.m. Sounds great, 9 p.m. Tuesday, let's do it. Cool, what I'm gonna do, John, I'm gonna add this number to a WhatsApp group chat with my business partner. He's the ads guy, he's gonna take care of everything. I'm gonna send you reminders on there. I'm gonna send a few testimonials over for you to look at so you have a better idea of what we're actually gonna be talking about on the call. Um, and again, that's creating that desire, the testimonials, the, the extra information to create desire for them to show up. And now you're also in a group chat with this lead, which has a lot more authority. Now, you're also now gonna uh, send them a Google Meet on the day and you're gonna have a sales call. You're gonna send reminders also, sorry. And then you're gonna have a sales call. Then you're pretty much gonna do the same framework in the VSL, but you're gonna be selling it. You're gonna find out the problems on the sales call. You're gonna do this pretty much like this on the sales call, show them it, and then try to get the close. That is how you cold call summed up. Pretty simple.